Hey guys, it's Landon with Redefined Horizons, and uh, I'm going to uh, teach you how to do a few things in Q QGIS in this video. Um, so what, what we're going to do is we're going to set up a new project GIS, um, and we're going to we're going to complete uh, two or three or four different tasks. Uh, so, and instead of just teaching you how to do those tasks kind of one on one, I thought, yeah, you know, it's it's usually better if you can see kind of how some different tasks work together. Um, on a real life project, but I will tag this video with timestamps in YouTube so you can jump to the task that, that you would like to learn. So uh, the, the first thing we're going to do is we are going to uh, export some uh, layer styles uh, from an existing QGIS project because we don't want to have to restyle everything and we want it to look consistent across our projects here at RH. Um, so we're going to do that, then we're going to create a new QGIS project. I'll show you guys how to set up the coordinate system real quick. Uh, we'll in import some data, apply the styles that we saved. Uh, then we're going to import some county uh, data, some county road and parcel data, and I'm, I'm going to show you guys how to trim those trim those data sets out. Okay, so that's what we're going to do in the video, if everything goes according to plan, which it doesn't always. All right, so let's uh, let's get started here. So this is the existing QGIS project, and what we want to do is we want to export our um, our styles. So we're going to come down here and say save as QGIS layer style file. We want everything checked, and then we're gonna uh, I'm just gonna drop these in my temp for now. Okay, so this is corridor segments. And then we're going to do this one for roads trimmed. Okay, and then we're going to do parcels trimmed. Make sure those are going to the right spot. They are not. Okay, so I've got those files now. I just I need to I'm gonna pause the video. I saved that one of the wrong spot and I'll move it. Okay, guys, so we got those uh, files created. Uh, so what we want to do now is we want to create a new project. So we're gonna go ahead and just create a blank uh, project. And the first thing we want to do is set our coordinate system. So we're gonna go to project properties. I am in zone two. I will apply that, and then we will save this. So in my shop, this goes in the root of the, when you get to the root of the project folder, you're going to go to GIS, Software Projects, QGIS, and then we just call this MP for the master project. My partner's like short file names. Okay, so we save that. Okay, so now we've, we've got our basic project ready. So uh, what we want to do now is um, import some of our data and get it styled. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and add the raster data first because that's uh, that doesn't need any styling, so it's fairly easy. So we'll go to layer, add raster layer. And in my shop, we go to the root of the job folder. GIS, uh, data, this is reference data, raster, USDA Nate. I'm going to sort by type because uh, we don't need the tiffs. We're going to open those and add them. Okay, so there's the imagery that covers the project area. Now, I like to put these in a group, so I'm going to add a group here. I'm going to call it USDA Nate 2022. A group is just like a folder to hold your layers. Um, that's pretty handy because it lets you turn all those layers on and off at one time. So you can see now I can toggle those off all at once versus having to go through all these individual checks. I just like to uh, collapse these because I'm not doing any uh, raster editing or analysis typically, so I'm not worried about the bands. Okay, so now we're going to add uh, our project corridor segments. I've got another video where I show you how to export those from Brix BricsCAD using Spatial Manager and also how to get them uh, from a DXF. So I'll, I'll try and remember to link to those videos in the comments for this video on YouTube. So I'm going to say add a vector layer. I've got a GeoJossin file already. 
Okay, so in my temp folder, I've got this project line work geo Jawson. I am going to add that. Um, it's just let me know, hey, we, we, we can't do an exact transformation. Um, and that is okay. Uh, let's see, I'm not sure why it's taking me to UTM zone 10. Let me cancel that. Um, all right, so it's in there. I might have goofed on this project coordinate system, so let's check it. I did. We want uh, we want it to be Mad 83 Zone 2. Okay, so that, that looks better. So you can see my project segments are in there, but they don't look like the segments in, uh, in the other project. So we want to apply a style. Okay, so let's do that. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to right click on our layer name and go to properties. Uh, we're going to pull up the symbology tab and then right down here we're going to click this little button and say load style. And from the file we want to pick, this is our corridor segments, so we'll say open. And we'll say load style, apply, okay. Now they look like uh, they did before. Okay, so that is uh, super uh, groovy. Now they don't have the labels yet because they haven't added the labels uh, to, the, to the file, the segment labels. Okay, and uh, we're going to change this to corridor segments. So the names match. Okay. Oh, and I don't want those in a group. Let me pull that out. There you go. All right, I'm going to put this at the bottom. Okay, so now we've got that done. So what we want to do next is we want to get our, our county roads and county parcel layer in here, and then we want to, we want to trim those down. Um, and then uh, after we have them trimmed down, uh, we, can, we can go ahead and apply uh, those two styles that we exported from our other project. So uh, let, let's start with the roads. All right, so we're going to go ahead and grab that road layer here. So we're going to add a vector layer. And then, let's see here. Yep, we are going to go grab that shape file. So I have that in reference data vector. And we're going to start with the county roads here. So grab that shape, add it. Okay, so there's our county roads. Um, so we do not want um, all of these county roads. Um, we, we just want a portion. For this data set, it's probably not a big deal, but for other data sets, it could, it could get clunky. Um, so to do that, we are going to make this uh, layer editable. So right-click, toggle editing. And then I'm going to go ahead and select the features that I want to get rid of. And we don't need to do really do a buffer or anything because we've just got kind of a rectangular area there that we're working with. And then we'll hit the trash can and click OK on the warning. Okay, we're going to do the same thing over here. Click the trash can. Okay, so now that that's done, we want to say uh, save layer edits. And then we're going to turn editing off. Okay, now we want to um, import that style again. Uh, that we exported. So we're going to pull up the layer properties and then right here we're going to go style, load style and we're going to pick roads trimmed. We're going to open that and load it and apply it. Okay, and I don't know why but my roads just disappeared. Might have to do with the, there it goes, it had to do with the scale. So you can see when we apply that style, we get the uh, scale dependent uh, rendering and the labels come in the way we like. Uh, so that's super handy. Uh, what's interesting is we have some, some names here with no uh, geometry. So that may just be a, a, an artifact of the county data set. And then I also noticed um, down here, I may have to um, import some data from the, uh, this is the county line here. So this is Calaveras County. We may have to get the road data from Calaveras County. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the same thing with the parcels. 
uh, just so you guys can see that. Oh, you know what? That's why uh, that's why some of the rows weren't showing up. <laughs> I needed to have this above the the images in the display order. Okay. All right. Let's uh, let's see if we can unselect that stuff. So make that editable again, and then just click over here. All right, now it's not selectable. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing with the parcels. So we're going to go layer, add layer, vector layer, and we're going to go grab the parcel data. All right, there's our parcels. Okay, so you can see they come in. Uh, we don't need all these parcels, a lot of parcels. Okay, so we're going to uh, right-click, toggle editing. We're going to select a bunch of these. And you can kind of see my computer slowing down a little bit because it's a lot of stuff. Okay, I'm going to do that again. Got to make sure I don't select too many there. Okay, then I'm going to right click, save layer edits, right click again, and toggle editing off. Okay, then we're going to go to the layer properties. On the symbology section, we are going to load the style that we exported. Okay, parcels trimmed, open. We're going to load it and apply it, and you can see it comes in. Oh, something happened there. So it came in with the right style. Oh, you know what? It's because I don't have the attribute value set. Um, so let's uh, let's go ahead and show you guys how to fix that. So we're going to go uh, toggle editing. And we're going to open the attribute table. The reason they're not showing up is because I have them uh, key to a particular field. Uh, that is not in the uh, that is not in the attribute table. Uh, so let's just see if I can remember. I think it's RH survey status is what we call the field. Yeah, RH survey status. So you can see we have got a problem there because it's in red, right? So we're going to go ahead and open that table, add a field real quick. RH survey status. No, oh, it doesn't want to let me do it because it's uh, keyed for a shape file. Um, all right, let me pause the video, guys, and then fix this, and I'll, I'll resume it so you guys can see what it looks like. All right, so I, I got that layer set up now, guys. Sorry about that. Let's turn this editing off. Uh, so I got that attribute set up now, so you can see as you zoom in now, the parcels show up and they get their APN just like in the other project. Okay, so uh, we have this set up now uh, the way we want, just like the other project was set up. Okay, so uh, I think that was everything I wanted to show you guys there. So just to review, we exported some layer styles from our existing project. We created a brand new project, set the coordinate system imported our first layer, the project corridor segments, applied the style to it, then we imported the county road layer and the county parcel layer, and we uh, trimmed those out to just cover our project area, and then we applied the, uh, we applied the exported uh, styles uh, to that as well. So, all right, guys, uh, I hope you uh, learned a couple things on there. I know it was a little choppy, and uh, we'll definitely do some more, uh, some more QGIS training videos.